Hello everybody, it is Magman, I'm here with a brand new 2017 LEGO Star Wars set review for you guys. Today we're taking a look at the set 75182 Republic Fighter Tank. So as you can see in front of you, the Republic Fighter Tank has 305 pieces, includes 4 minifigures, and is ages uh, 8 to 14, but... But yeah. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, there's 2 minifigures here, which that is the big drive for the set, and then 2 battle droids, which are common minifigures at this point and the fighter tank which is pretty much tiny um, that's going to be uh, talked a lot about throughout the entire set review um, but I'd like to start off with the minifigures the great minifigure that we get is the clone trooper gunner now he is exclusive to this set we've never really seen this sort of design on the clone trooper we have seen him in the previous uh, the previous version of clone trooper gunner in the clone wars version so that was interesting but um, except for that we haven't really seen him in the episode 3 format so uh, except for that, I did want to point out that um, there's a lot of inspiration for this clone trooper from the Star Wars Battlefront 2 game, and I think that's why he was released in this set, is because we may be seeing the fighter tank in Star Wars Battlefront 2, and especially this minifigure. So the clone trooper gunner has these markings on his helmet and uh, on his chest, and these could be the same ones that we'll be seeing, or I think, from what I've seen from the sneak peeks of the gameplay, these are the same ones from the Heavy Gunner or Heavy Trooper, something like that. Um, this is just speculation, I don't really know much about the game yet, I haven't seen that much, but a lot of you guys who have already uh, seen a lot of the gameplays and know what the clone troopers really look like, definitely could tell me about that. Uh, so please comment in the comment section below what you guys think, but I think this is the reason why um, this set in general is being released this year at this point, to get more battle droids and to get people hyped up uh, from the prequel era part of uh, Battlefront 2. So that's exciting. Next up is Ayla Secura, and we haven't seen her since the clone Turbo Tank in 2011, I think. Yeah. So she's in Star Wars Episode 3 format, I think. So we, last time it was also she was also in Star Wars um, Episode Star Wars the Clone Wars format with the big eyes and all that stuff. So she finally looks good. She's not light blue anymore. Now she's much more dark blue, which uh, is great looking. It looks great on her. Um, definitely makes the minifigure stand out much more and I prefer that way. So she is, for me, the big highlight of this set, that's why I want to get this set, is because the minifigure alone from the clone turbo tank back then is already costing pretty much 15 to $30 at this point, so uh, getting her in this set is much better. And then we also get two battle droids, so uh, nothing new there, just some more battle droids to add to your LEGO collection. Moving on to the fighter tank, um, there's a lot to do in this fighter tank and for children and uh, people who are going to be playing with this, there's much more to it than you might think and that's where I want to go with this, is that this is, in the set itself, is a great set, so um, there's a lot to it and I mean, uh, you're getting your piece count and all that stuff, however, um, I mean it's very sturdy as well, so if I drop this it's going to be very hard for some of the pieces to come out or break. However, uh, it's a huge downgrade from the previous models and um, it just doesn't look anything like it should um, compared to the actual Star Wars world. I mean, not only is this set supposed to be way bigger, but um, it's supposed to be holding a crew and this one you can only uh, fit one person, but I'll get to that later on. So here in these uh, flaps, which supposedly are supposed to be tilted down, but in this one you can't because they were built um, in a different manner. Um, there's some stickers here and here, and in fact, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the light intensity. Okay, it's better. So uh, this gun comes up and down, and there's a flick fire gun right here, so if you guys want to lose pieces, definitely that is the way to go. Um, there's a wrench right here, so if you want to make repairs, kind of like the previous one, and um, here in the back you have a little opening compartment. It holds a bunch of these little studs for the stud shooter gun, so that's pretty cool. In the previous one there used to be some sort of door in here so you could have your clone troopers fit in, but obviously um, it's too small for that here, so... <laughs> and uh, you got some wheels under it, right there. The under part is very very well built, the structure holds on very well. 
and uh, that's the big plus of this one is that you might drop this a thousand times and it's still not going to break. The build quality is huge with this set and that's something I really appreciate it with it. You also get really decent stickers. Now I know a lot of you guys don't really like stickers. Um, I'm starting to like them now. Lego is making them much more better quality and they look better and you can also, um, how to say, they just, they're really stepping it up with stickers since we know that they're not going to be printing any, any more pieces. So. Uh, that's not going to be a big thing anymore. They're saving money for them and they don't really care that much um, whether we like it printed or not because in the end it's pretty much the same result. It has uh, a good look. So yeah. And on these clips here on the side you can put some stuff. Here there is the clone trooper's weapon. It's just regular blaster. And that fits right there. Um, what else? In the previous one you could open this up but that's just a piece I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so opening it up here is the last step. It's kind of hard. They didn't add anything, so it's kind of a pain to open this part up. Okay, so in here, whoops. Maybe a bit hard because it's a very tight spot. But um, as you can see, there's the computer or uh, the, the controls, and right under it, there's the joystick right there. So. That thing right there is the joystick. And uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward how this works. Um, that you just fit the minifigure in there. And as you can see, it's kind of a pain because he fits in there and it closes and all. However, getting him out is the trick because some of you guys have smaller fingers, but for me, with big fingers, this is likely going to happen. You're going to get the helmet, not the figure, and then you're going to have to pull the figure, and hopefully it works out. But it's a very, very tight spot in there. Uh, in the previous one, you used to be able to fit two or three minifigures here. You can barely fit one, so very, very small, <laughs> very tight spot. But otherwise, uh, that's as much as there is to the fighter tank. Uh, it does it does capture the look in a miniature version, so it looks, yeah, looks kind of like a sleek build. It, Finally, I wanted to give you guys some sort of comparison because I know it's great to know that this is a good set and that yes, it's small, but it looks good. Um, and this is kind of where I got tricked. I looked at reviews and it did look, you know, like a decent build um, and, you know, not that small. I mean, I knew it was going to be small, but not that small. And then when I built it, I realized that it was actually, I mean, I can palm this thing really easily. It's very small and it made me, it reminded me a lot of this set, which a lot of you guys, I know a lot of people loved. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this set. So the previous ATT, it's the same size, it's the same idea. Um, it's kind of uh, the Republic and the Separatist version, which reminds me as well of Battlefront 2 coming out. Um, we're going to be seeing a lot of this guy, and we might be seeing a lot of these guys. But we're going to be seeing a lot of these guys and these guys. So, I don't know. kind of reminded me of this set, and it's the same type. So it's we know that there was a, a much bigger version of this in 2000. Nine, I think the blue one was huge and then we know there was a much bigger version of this one uh, back in 2009 as well so it's kind of funny how they just brought back these sets but in way smaller versions sure they're more compact more pieces better built uh, they have some of the better curved shapes and better looks but they're just way smaller and in my opinion I think um, it's nice to have vehicles that look accurate and cool towards uh, compared to the minifigures so it's kind of it's cool to have this set looking great, but it's not going to look great if it's on the on a on a plane with a bunch of soldiers. It doesn't really look like it doesn't really look to me as much of a, a tank. It looks more of a big speeder for me. So that's a, that's a problem I have with it. Um, so that's a little comparison I wanted to make. I mean, I'm sure you guys remember that set. And then now this is the comparison I want to make. Yep. I think a few of you guys saw this coming, so there we are. So as you can see, or if you can remember, this set is um, one of my top five or top three best LEGO Star Wars sets in my collection. And I was really excited when I was told that this set was going to come out. And on camera right now, I'm looking at the camera, and it actually this one looks bigger than it actually is. It's actually a bit smaller than that. And yeah, <laughs> it's really, it's very, very small. You'd be really surprised on how small this thing is. So, <laughs> um, it has more colors. I think the 
light red on the on the previous version didn't look that well. I mean, this one in terms of color color selection is a bit better looking, I think. Um, it has better stickers. This one had horrible quality stickers. I mean, they're almost coming off, so I'm gonna have to take care of that soon. Um, and it's a little bit dusty, so gotta take care of that too. But as you can see, quick comparison: this one has huge cannons. This one has none. This one had uh, this really nice turret that's gone. Um, this one had missiles here on the sides that would just flip out, and then it had these compartments here for guns. Um, now both of those are gone, but you just get little clips to put your gun if you want to. Here in the back you had a door. Now you got a little compartment for some sh uh, shells for your for your stud shooters. And inside in the cockpit, um, in this previous one you could open it up and fit two to three minifigures inside. Here you can barely fit uh, one trooper inside. So that's just a few of the little comparisons. I mean, here you could also open this up, which would break very often, but you could open it up. And in the newer one, you can't. I mean, there's nothing to open up, so yeah. Uh, that, so that's a little quick little uh, com comparison of uh, the older one and the newer one. It's definitely weird because that one was only $20 more than this one. And um, I mean, sure, there, it's not as compact. I mean, it's not built as perfectly as the newer one, but um, it still captures the look, it's still a great set, so yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what to say much more about this, I'm kind of uh, ashamed of having to tell this, but I really wanted to like this set, I really wanted to say go get it and uh, it's a great set, but I can't because when you compare it to this one, this one is just way better in pretty much every single aspect, so if you're a collector, and you're a huge uh, LEGO Star Wars fan and you can't afford going and getting this retro set, definitely that is the one for you. Um, but otherwise I would still consider getting this set for the main figures because the, the main figure selection is just... Uh, these two main figures are just really exciting to get. Um, and if you guys are... if you're more of a children and you really want to play with this set, um, this one is going to be a bit fragile for you, so definitely go for this one, much more sturdy. Um, and it really provides a lot of fun for the children. So that's where I want to end off. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching this LEGO Star Wars set review. And leave a comment and feedback in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time here on Mamsu's channel for more LEGO Star Wars reviews. Bye-bye.